Yo, what's going on boys? It's your man back for another figure review and today we are finally getting close to the end of the tie-dye figures. The Funko Five Nights at Freddy's tie-dye wave, everybody's favorite. Now, today we have the Bonnie himself. This was uh, one of the harder figures to find for some reason. Man was just not in stock. Found him. Sadly picked him up for $13, which was not worth it. And then uh, we got this now Something I'm actually just noticing didn't even notice the whole time is on his arm here The paint is just gone. There's just no paint there That's interesting All right, so oh and right there too and on the inside of the arm. Yo, this figure fell off. What happened? I didn't even notice this. I didn't even look at this figure in detail enough to notice this this figure fell off. All right, continuing now with uh, the review. We'll save more complaints for later down the line. Starting with the box here. Same old, same old box here. Tie-dye in the back, tie-dye Bonnie. Got the wave. It was more? Oh my God, it was $15 for this figure? Who charged this? Where is this bought from? What is this? This is, uh, get this away from me. Now, moving on to paint and sculpt. The uh, paint, same old junk, or uh, sculpt I mean is the same old junk. Uh, same Bonnie sculpt that really hasn't been reused that much, but you know, we've seen it enough, especially with how often they've re-released Wave 1. I think we're on anything from five to six times now they've re-released it, but I guess it's a classic. So uh, talking about paint now, I guess the whole time I was kind of wondering how they did it. So the whole figure is covered in paint or some sort of layer of something. And obviously, it, this one did not come in the best of condition. We lost some lost some paint on the arms here. So that uh, makes me think you should be very careful if you buy these. Because this is not going to last very long. Especially if mine is not even out of the box and it's peeling off. Oof. L. So, now, moving on to uh, articulation. Because what more can I say other than this paint sucks? Sculpt is the same stuff as always. And that's that. That's all we got to say. Moving on to articulation, which I actually have. I have to apologize about something because I didn't even realize it happened. So head moves up and down. Head or no head. Bonnie will go on. Little rotation. Shoulders go up. All right. Rotation as always. A little bit of a ball joint action here. A little bit of a bicep swivel. Then at the wrist here, what I'd never noticed is that they actually have ball joints at the hands. And uh, I didn't notice it. Because when I rebought Golden Freddy to redo my custom, he came with the spring trap arm and the hand just popped off. And I never even noticed. It actually is a ball joint at the hands now, so they did somewhat update the articulation. The only problem is it's so like it's one of those tiny tiny things that I did not even notice until now. Like I couldn't even notice it was a thing. So going back to this guy, they all have these uh little bit of I guess slight, slight extra wrist rotation. You know, a little up and down, a little side to side. But it's not even really noticeable that they did it. So I guess it's it's a plus or a minus. I don't know. Coming out of the legs because no waist. Kicks forward. Kicking back, not really. Kind of got thick booty going in. Kicks out to the side. All right. Little knee. Little bit of, little bit of knee action. It bends. That's about all I got to say about the articulation on these guys. And uh, I'm going through quick here because I have every comparison ever. I'm going to just bring, I got a whole line, the whole shelf next to me is filled up with FNAF figures for the big, big uh, reveal, I guess, of comparisons. So, seeing this guy, going down to accessories, he does not have any. Uh, I can't really blame them because I'm pretty sure they got sued or threatened to be sued from uh, using the guitar design, the flying V or whatever. They were like, you cannot, you cannot do this anymore. So, they can't do it anymore. And they did not come up with a redesign. They should even, they could put a... Pig Patch's banjo in there or something. Just something that he has an accessory. But I guess they do not need it. These figures are too good on their own. So now, the part I've been waiting for. Bringing him in for a comparison. We'll start off here with the original Bonnie. Just some other uses of this sculpt. Uh, this is uh, an easy showing of the original versus the re-release. And just how much worse they look now. And they're very sticky, these re-releases. I don't know if they're still like that, but when they first released them, these were very sticky. It was interesting. But uh, yeah, there's some a couple of the very few uses of this sculpt. Because compared to the other ones, even the uh, Chica has a decent handful of them. This guy really didn't get much. 
Got some of the Easter stuff. Much, much more superior figures, especially in the recoloring terms, because this Bonnie is way better than the tie-dye Bonnie. Oof, don't even get me started. Awful. Now, continuing on with some just separate Bonnies. And uh, one more time, the sculpt was used, was the black light, which again, way, way better repaint, way better uh, GameStop exclusive, I guess. That was, I don't know how the price on these guys is doing anymore, the black lights, because someone found uh, AliExpress or something like that when they were selling them for uh, pretty much retail, and it was pretty crazy. I don't know if the price is still good on them. Still, great figures either way. Moving on. Now, we're bringing in the rest of the tie-dye wave all together we'll bring them all together here to show the core tie-dye wave this is the core tie-dye wave here now if you want to go for the master collection the master set you can bring the spring trap in there and all together this is probably the only time they're going to look half decent you know they all fit the vibe they all have chill vibes in this shot right here but i really I just still don't see it, you know, I don't really like these figures, they look fine when they're all together like this, but it's just not cool, like when I set up the black light figures, I'm like, yeah, that's, now that's cool, this one, no, I see that, I'm like, wow, that sucks, and then I just, uh, continue on, now, getting these guys out of here, for now, for now, getting these guys out of here, we'll be bringing in, let me make sure I leave the right figure, we'll bring it in, the uh, uh, black light figures, I guess. And what I'm going to do is a full little bit of a wave comparison. We zoom it out. This is going to be a big zoom out moment. And we're going to do whole wave comparisons here. Ooh. Put this man over here. This man over here. This is like a little intermission. If I had any sort of editing skill ever, I would cut this and it would just shut, uh, shut right at the thing. Right when all the figs are set up. Now here is a little bit of a wave comparison. We have the earlier repaints, probably one of the earliest repaints of this these wave, this mold, wave one. And then we have the most recent repaint. And this is this is just this just proves we live in a society. Like this would not be happening if the Joker was in real life. Now, all seriousness, I still do not like this wave. I think the black white lights are much, much superior. And now that you can even get them for like the same price, like you can get these in the store for 15 or go to some some creepy website and get them for get them for 15 or whatever, 20 bucks. I'd say go for the black lights. That's definitely way better than even thinking about the tie dyes. It they're just in in all, I'd say these figures are still not very good. And that uh you should not buy them. Now that I have acquired all of them, I've had time to look at all of them. I even got that Walmart exclusive, that Wally Mart. It's, it's just not a good way of wait for, buy the plushies even, because the plushies look pretty decent. The new Funko Snaps even. I had to pick one up for the boys. It's, it's pretty decent. It doesn't look too bad. I think you should even pick one of those up now instead of these, because those are only $10 compared to these, which are 15 those are the new wave, and that's kind of classic, because just to bring it up quick, just a little bit of a break, I gotta say, these Funko Snaps are honestly classic, the packaging and everything, it really reminds me of when FNAF had like three products, and they were the worst things you've ever seen in your life, like they had the, the bag hangers, and it was like that, you'd buy that, they had the, uh, what were those little figures when they first released it, I can't remember, but they like the three quarter inch figures when they released those. It was like the worst thing ever in your life. But I was you were just happy to have FNAF merchandise. This gives me those heavy vibes. Now, if that's for better or for worse, it's up to you to decide. I just wanted to stop, give a little moment with that. Review may be coming soon. So that's about it. All I've got to say is that this wave sucks. The uh, spring trap review will be coming soon after this. Uh, after that, I remade. Uh, my original custom Golden Freddy, instead of redoing it, I was thinking of fixing this one up. Then I was like, I'll just redo the whole figure. So we got a review of this guy coming soon. Comparisons, I'll let, let me know what you think. Honestly, I think the new one's way better. I've had mixed reviews, but still a classic. And then, uh, other than that, I do actually want to branch out a little bit more. Less FNAF stuff, put a, at least different figure reviews, because at this point I've become the FNAF channel again. But I can't lie, it's kind of cool. I like being back into Five Nights at Frigley's. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the good support that's been on the channel. We've been going hard. We've been going crazy.
Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video when I sadly have to review more tie-dye figures. Have a good one.